Okay, hi guys. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my kitchen. Tonight, we are gonna be making something that I love so much, um, but I've never made it before. Korean, Korean fried, fried cheese. cheese. I don't know if you guys have had Korean fried cheese before, but it is so good. Basically, it is either just a mozzarella stick that is fried in this batter with usually like panko breadcrumbs on the outside, sometimes potatoes, or it's like a hot dog or a sausage inside. And at the end, you have the option of rolling it in sugar, which I personally love. I think it's so delicious like that. So we're gonna try and make a couple different variations and I'm really excited, so let's get started. We don't need too many ingredients. So what we are going to need is flour, sugar, baking powder, panko breadcrumbs, milk, mozzarella cheese. I'm gonna be using mozzarella sticks cause I think it's gonna make it a little bit easier. Hot dogs or sausage. Frozen potatoes. I actually already went ahead and cubed this potato and put it in the freezer, so these are ready to go. And some skewers. Okay, so um, let's, <laughs> let's try it. So first things first, we're gonna make the skewers. There are a couple of different kinds of Korean fried cheese, and we're gonna be making a little bit of everything. So I'm gonna be making six two of each, two mozzarella cheese, two hot dogs, and two half and half, which are my personal favorite. And some of these will have potato on them, some of them won't. Let's get some weenies. One, two, and a third that we'll cut in half. Mmm, let's pierce this little weenie. Okay, with this last one that I have out, oh my God, I'm going to cut it right in half. Oh, ooh. And I'm gonna skewer the half on, and then we're gonna put the other half on another one, because these are gonna be half hot dog, half mozzarella, which is fucking boosin. <laughs> okay, now let's get the mozzarella sticks. This is what we're working with so far. So for these two, on the top half, we're gonna put the mozzarella cheese. Right down the middle. Mm, these ones are my favorite. They are so good. You get the best of both worlds. You already know. Okay, now it's time to make the batter. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna use this bowl for the batter and all we need to put in here is one and one fourth cup of flour. One, one fourth. And then we're gonna need a half a teaspoon of baking powder. And then we're gonna add the wet ingredients, which are, oh my God, I forgot. I forgot to say in the beginning of the video that we need one singular egg and that's gonna go in the batter. Ooh. And then we're gonna add 100 milliliters of milk. What the fuck does that mean? Okay, Google, how many cups is 100 milliliters of milk? 0.422675 cups. It's a little less than half a cup, so I'm gonna just do a half a cup because in the instructions it says if the batter is too dry to keep adding more milk. This is really like a dough, dude. What the? Dude, this does not look like batter. Okay, yes, give us something. <laughs> to make this easier, I'm gonna put the batter into a tall cup. I think this is about the right consistency. It's supposed to be like really thick like this, but still be able to dip something in, pull it out, and it be covered in batter. So let's just let's hope this is a good decision. Looks good. Okay, we're almost done the prep part, to be honest, because now that we have our batter, all we need to do is put our toppings on a plate. The toppings are either panko breadcrumbs or potatoes or both. So I'm gonna do a plate that's half and half. 
So we're gonna do half panko and the other half frozen potatoes. Yum! <laughs> These look so good. Okay, so we've got all of this ready and now it's time to prep them. We're gonna put another plate over here for the finished product and here they are. I'm gonna do the classic mozzarella first. Oh my God, I'm nervous, I hope it works. So apparently I just dip this in and then take off the excess. Okay, I'm just gonna put panko breadcrumbs on this first one. Okay. <laughs> That looks pretty good. Yes, love it. Okay, now we're gonna do the half and half. My favorite. Get in there. I'm gonna do panko and potatoes for this one. So I'm gonna roll it around in the panko first. Um, that didn't work out as well as I wanted. I saw in the instructions, you kind of have to like stick them in there. So maybe I'll just do it by hand. <laughs> Come on, you guys, just stay. <laughs> this is so sad. No, I'm so sad. Guys, I don't know how well this potato one's gonna work out. The website that I got the recipe from says to freeze them, but I'm realizing now that they're all like wet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my other half and half because I love this one so much and I'm not gonna put potatoes on this one just in case the other one comes out so bad. A little bit of panko, F you potatoes. Now let's do a hot dog one. Oh, did I just get a splinter, dude? <gasps> oh my God, I did. Is it bad? All right, I'm gonna try putting just potatoes in this one. Hee 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 hee. Okay, this is actually working. All right. <laughs> Good enough to me. You get what you get, and you don't get upset. We're gonna do another one with just panko, because I have a feeling, just a hunch, that those are the only ones that are gonna turn out good. <laughs> Looking amazing. We've got one final one. All right, so we've got them all ready, and now onto the final step, which is frying them. So let's go over to my stove. Okay, so I'm gonna use my big, Fat frying pan. Okay, so we're gonna be using vegetable oil and putting a lot. You guys, the potato one over here, it's not looking good at all. It's really not looking good. Honestly, the one with panko looks better than the one with just the potatoes. I'm a little sad about the potatoes, and by a little sad, I mean like extremely devastated. Here she goes. I'm so nervous. Oh, wait, how much time? Three to five minutes. So I'm looking at the clock. All right, I'm gonna put another one in. I think I'm just gonna go full swing with the potato one. I'm so upset. Oh my God, you guys, I'm getting so stressed. Good luck to that one. How's it look on camera? Oh my God, she's a little freak on cam. This one in the middle is so bad. It's so bad. Ooh, uh, this looks good over here. What's going on over there? Sounds like the frozen potatoes hitting the oil to me. This one in the middle looks so like gag, gaggy. Ow! Okay, that one doesn't look as bad to be honest. All right, we're adding more oil, the rest of my oil for the last three. Okay, I think this oil is already ready for these. I'm really trying to artistically make this one. First one came out good, but it got like flattened on each side. Okay, so the bottom's not really getting cooked, so Rachel had the brilliant idea to cut the skewer a little bit shorter. Oh my god, okay. Oh my god, this is a high stress situation. Yes, I want to Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, this looks amazing though. Oh my god, I'm freaking out. Oh my god, I got it, I got it, I got it. That looks so good. No, for real, look at this. That is gorgeous, that's beautiful. Okay, I think I should do one at a time because that was really stressful, that last one, so. And I've got my technique. Yeah, this is coming out amazing, you guys. Too bad I figured out how to do it right on the fifth out of six. I'm not gonna lie, I was getting really nervous that this was gonna be another spicy tuna crispy rice video. <laughs> Ow! Ooh, that oil is hot. Oh my god, yeah, I think it's done. Oh my god, oh my god, I am fucking sweating, I'm panicking. This was such an anxiety provoking situation. Let's go eat them. Okay, so. <laughs> Whoa. 
these were the first three that I did, including the potato ones, which this one didn't come out as bad as I expected, but then I figured out my new technique and these ones came out literally perfect. Hello, that's exactly what it's supposed to look like. Uh, the final step, which is optional, but I love it and I recommend it, is to put some sugar on them, which I know might sound kind of odd, but here they are and now it's, these ones are so sad. It's like still raw. <laughs> are you kidding me? This looks amazing. This one's like melting down the stick. So I think I want to try a bite of this one. The moment of truth, you guys. Will we get a cheese pool? <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God, I did it. Mm. Oh my God, so good. Come here, you want to try it? Yes. Wow! Mm. Mm. You love it? So good. Mmm. It's so good. Alright, a little bit of ketchup, a little bit of mustard. Mmm. 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 I think this one might be a hot dog. Let's try this one. Mmm. It seriously is so good, you guys. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really, really surprised. Mmm. <laughs> This is seriously so good. Like I never sit here at the end of my videos and eat the whole thing, but like I'm about to. <laughs> Thank mm. you. Mm -mm. All right guys, um, normally I end these videos by saying I'm gonna go eat, but I already did eat them. They were so fucking good. This video is still over though. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next Saturday with another new video. Okay, bye.